Hey guys, I'm the Mr. Mala. Welcome to this series, so series video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a method on how to make a ladder, very nice, and how to make a sack boy, sack bot climb up it. So here we go, moving up the ladder, and then we move to the side, and we're done, and we can walk around again. Pretty cool, yeah, pretty cool. So you can always drop down and climb back up again if you wanted, and yeah. So anywho. Let me show you how this is done. Now, don't worry, it's not confusing. Once you get this done, and once I've explained it, it'll be simple. Now, I, pref I, I don't know what method you prefer. Do you prefer me to build the logic in front of you, or do you prefer me to have it all set up and just explain how it is? Uh, for me, it's easier to explain how it is, but is it easier for you to understand if I build it with you? Right, anywho. Let's show you what's going on here. So we have at the bottom of the ladder a tag called ladder bottom. And then at the top we have ladder top. And to the side we have ladder top side. Now the methods, uh, the, the uses for these will be explained as we go along with the logic here. So ignore this bit. This is not the logic. This is the logic. Now just to go straight out of the bat, this is the triangle button. So triangle is what's used to detect you've pressed something and then it'll move up the ladder or open a door in this level, which I'm making more information soon. So, uh, just to clear that. So, this tag is ladder bottom. So this detects when you are uh, within 10 radius of the bottom tag and when you press triangle. So once you do both those things, you will see that this one shot switch, or the counter, will activate this follower. So this follower, basically um, default settings, the radius and so, uh, sorry, speed settings and such uh, that the, um, you can see the maximum radius detection there is infinite. And the name of this is to follow. Uh, sorry, it's going to follow the ladder um, top tag. So you're starting here. You're pressing triangle, which is activate this. Set up a one shot switch, which will make you follow this. So. That's one part done. It'll also activate this logic here. Now, this logic here is pretty much my um, protection logic. And the reason for that is because sometimes it doesn't reach the top or a couple of uh, problems I had. But this works flawlessly and I have yet to have a problem with it. But if you have any other suggestions, let me know. So it also activates another one-shot switch here, which will then activate a timer. This timer will tick for two seconds. It will count up and reset this once it's done. Now, that's basically just to, but the re method. The reason for this method is because if we had it on this, uh, just activating a timer, then it would count up and have to be full before it does it, and then it would, by that time it would reset itself. Oh yeah. Uh, and that and this way it'll be on, and then once it's been two seconds, it'll go off. So it's a kind of permanent, well not permanent signal, but you get the idea. So this one shot switch then moves into this AND gate right here, and also in this AND gate is the ladder top tag. So this detects when you are at the top. So once you've pressed, uh, once you've done both these things, so let's go over it again quickly, you've pressed triangle, you've, it's, it's been, this has been on, um, it's been less than two seconds pretty much and you've hit the ladder top tag, then it will activate a one-shot uh, one shot switch, which will activate a follower. This follower follows the side, ladder top side, and let me just show you the information for that. So you've got two speed, infinite, blah, 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 follows uh, ladder top side, and this tag here, is ladder top side. It detects when your sack boy or sack bot is in radius of the top side tag, which will reset this counter, which means this will be deactivated. So let me show you in action one more time. Uh, actually, I should probably show you it with the logic open so you get a nice idea of it working. Uh, move that to the side very quickly. And so as you can see, as we walk in, as we are walking past now, it's resetting and such, trying to get this logic to.
Ignore the camera, you don't have to put it on. I'm just showing you. Don't follow player. Okay, right, here we go. So, bottom ladder. I need to move to the back. Oh, we already are. Press triangle and you'll see the logic in action. I should probably open this one as well so you can see and give you a better idea. Right, here we go. You ready? Are you, are you ready? Watch this. You, are you ready? See that? Very nice, very smooth. And if we run to the side, it won't set off because it needs to be activated by this. And we have not... Uh, it hasn't been activated because we haven't pressed triangle at the bottom in the last two seconds. So hopefully you understand that. If you don't, I will be sure to make a better video on it. Um, let me know what method you prefer me to use. Do you prefer me to show you after I've made it or while I'm making it? Um... And this level, I'll provide more information with it soon. It's very early stages. I'll probably won't even finish it again. But don't worry, card game series is still coming. It's just I didn't want to just throw constant boring stuff in your face every week. It, um, I'll provide you with little tutorials like this again when I come up with things to do. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm the Mr. Morrow, and I will see you in the, oh, I just hit the table in the next video. Peace.